Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Incredible Cliff, as you all know. Um, on Saturday, I was supposed to travel on Saturday. So, to Bayosa, obviously from Lagos to Bayosa. So making the journey, I, I woke up very, very early. In fact, I couldn't sleep till three o'clock. I couldn't sleep, so I went and took my shower. I came back with Kenny Cash. We went for a, a Campari organized um, event at Morion Corner that night, that um, Friday night. So um, when I came back, I, I, just, I was just arranging some stuff, you know. After arranging, I went to take my, my shower. After shower, I have actually arranged an Uber ride for the 4th of, 4th of, um, of December. But unknowingly for me, I went and put the timing. The timing I put it 5 p 5 p.m. instead of 5 a.m. in the morning. You understand? So it was when I get to Bayelsa, people started calling me. Say, hey, you you actually order a ride. I said, oh no, this ride was supposed to be in the morning. I waited and waited and nobody came. The reason why I just left. And right now, I mean Yenego already. So there was no way. Several people called me. There was no way to actually cancel the ride because then I never had data. It was when I got to my house in Yenegoa, that was when I started, you know, seeing, uh, finding ways to actually uh, cancel the ride. It was quite, <laughs> it was quite funny. So um, I make it out of the lodge um, around that, I think, was it? Four, I think it's uh, five, five around five o'clock, around and five o'clock. I came out, out then I have a few words yeah. on my video. Um, talking about when I actually stepped out and uh, then I was waiting for the vehicle I was waiting for the Uber ride to come he never came so I was worried I actually ordered another ride from Uber it was not still you know there was no urgency the vehicles were not there and you know I just I tried them both also both never came on time I went I, I actually went across the road and take some money then um, after some time, I waited. I waited for like 30 minutes before I saw an Uber guy. No, not Uber, boat guy. You know, I, I think he was at um, Obalende area, Obalende area. So he called me up and said, "Hey, bro, where are you?" I told him I'm along um, Ahmedu Bello way. He said, "Okay, no problem. I'm coming. Give me some few time." I said, "Okay, no problem. I have to wait for you." So um, after some time, he came, and uh, I entered. So when I entered, off we went and. Uh, Pass through um, a coal bridge, then around that, I think 5 5:47, we got to we got to Jibo around 5:47. So when I got to the counter, they asked me, "Hey, where? How did you book?" I said, "I booked online." They said, "Okay, just go and take a seat and wait." Then I was a little bit, you know, ah, I was very very nervous. I want to just get going. I don't want to, you know you know, get to Bayasa very late because I heard of so many security concerns in Yenegoa. How guys are, you know, jobless guys are just going around, you know, collecting people's phone and doing all kinds of, you know, bad things. So I wanted to get to Yenegoa very early so that I can make it to my house also very early. You get the point. So um, I waited for a while, around six o'clock, I went to the counter again and asked the dude, bro, what's up? Are we going now? Are we going, are we still going around that for six for the seven? He told me, bro, just relax, don't worry, just chill and wait. So I just chill. After some time, I felt busy somehow. So I just made it out of the road and I got, um, I got a cup of coffee, Nescafe. Um, quite very hot. I asked the guy, you know, how much is it? He said, it's hundred naira. I, he, 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 at first, I thought it's hundred naira. Not knowing that. <laughs> The bread is 200, so the bread is 100 and the next cup is 200. Uh, so um, I told him, okay, give me the bread now. He said, why will I give you the bread? The bread is 200 now, the bread is 100 now and this one is 200. So you're supposed to balance me. I said, okay, no problem. <laughs> I get the next cup and I went and I was sipping it. I was sipping the next cafe, then you know, I felt fine that moment. You know, I was just moving around with guys. You know, those guys that used to hawk things at the park now. Hey bro, whenever they see me, I was like, uh, this is almost uh, this is 6:45. Why, why are we not moving? Just you know, um, explain to me that I'm I'm the only one on the on the box. But 
actually when I when I was booking it I saw that you know number two has been booked so I I booked number five so I don't get it why I have to be the only one inside the box but you know let me see uh, yeah he said it has a list of uh, so many people that is going to um, join on the list or on, on the box so I have to just wait for that to happen then probably we can we cannot just move like that we have to actually join you guys with people that are going to Benin people that are going to Delta, Delta State and people that are going to other sites like Ugele I said okay but you guys should have told us this since you should have told me since so that we know what to do whether to actually you know do some other stuff or go out and eat or something they said there is no problem you can still go out and eat so then I was hungry you know around that 6 45 after taking the tea and have the coffee so I I told him okay I'm going out will you call me if the the vehicle is filled up he said then there is no issues i should just drop my back here that you know whenever you know there's time when when people are complete he will call me so i said no problem i make it across the road i actually trek to almost yaba almost yaba that interception that under under the bridge at yaba that was where i actually got as i was going with my drip you know people were like hey bro come over here bro come over here because my drip was looking very sparkling you know you get <laughs> So um, I actually went to this mama put and get some rice and uh, rice spaghetti and some other stuff, protein. Then uh, I got some water. I made it back to the terminal. When I got there, it around it was around at seven o'clock, seven o'clock, seven a.m. Very worried and nervous. I went back again. I asked the dude, "What's up now?" He, he told me, "Okay, just calm down. I think you know." We are still trying to get people. Before 8 o'clock, we can actually move. I was like, damn. So I will get to Bayesa very, very late. So actually, I left it. Then I stayed. I went and ate the rice and the spag. Then when I, when I was done, it's already 8 o'clock. So I went back again. I told him, bro, what's up? Are we still going today? He told me, yeah, we're going. And um, it's only six people that have actually lodged. Oh, sorry. It's only six people that are actually booked. So... We'll just go along with that, you know, it's gonna be cool, it's okay, I go. So around that 8.45, 8.45, that's when we moved from Lagos, started making the journey to Yenegua by state. And we were going and it was cool because it was very spacious. You can actually, you know, keep your hand. Power bank, I was having my phone also. So what I did, I have two cables. I plugged my phone there, I plugged my power bank. It was fantastic. My, my AirPod was still very, very you know, strong. The battery was still very, very cool. So I, I didn't charge that one. You get the point. So it was very cool. And you know, we get going, you know, we get going and things were so scanty. You know, it was a Saturday, so you will not find a lot of people on the road. So although in some certain places, there are traffic caused by police checkpoints, and you know, why we a trailer, a trailer knocked down an Okadama and actually pieces his head, like he destroys the guy's head, score, and the guy never stops quite, you know, um, fatal. That was why when I got to the church, although let me say, I got to Bayesa around 7.47. It was quite late, everywhere was dark. My mom was calling me, my, everyone was calling me. My dad also was calling me that, hey bro, uh, where are you? That hey, where are you? I said I'm at Bayesa right now, and you know, I'm making it out from the terminal. I'm coming home. So they were kind of worried because of the kind of you know situation that was happening in Bayosa. You know, guys actually snatching, uh, doing all kinds of you know bad things due to you know uh, joblessness. I believe it is. So actually, excuse me. Um, I made it to the express, as the Aiziboro Expressway by Yasa Then, you know, I got, I get going, I enter Kekena Pep, I get going, and I saw my junior brother, two of my junior brother, and we got home. When we got home, we prayed, you know, we thank God for the joining messes. It was quite incredible. Um, and I enjoyed myself that day. I, I had soya, I had ice cream, I had, um, what do you call it again? I had um, meat pie when we got to Ugele. It was quite incredible. I also had turkey. <laughs> so I definitely enjoyed myself on this trip. Then um, on the day of the Thanksgiving, which is on Sunday, that this is on Sunday 5th, as uh, 5th of um, December, 
It was quite memorable. I put on my drip, it was a suit. Then um, we actually got to the church. We actually got very late. My mom and dad had actually gone there and we got there very late. So um, when the time of Thanksgiving came, we started going and I started dancing this church dance, you know. <laughs> this church dance was quite incredible. Even when I actually put that church down in my water, people were like, ha, ah, please. <laughs> so um, after which we have to give a speech because it's Thanksgiving, you know, our cake was there Praise celebrating, Lord. you know, um, God goodness to us. Because it's not easy to actually you know, stay from January to December. You were not sick. First of all, let me appreciate God for the enjoyment that you granted me from Lagos to Ayers and yesterday. All Many of you for this, but you know, the end of the day, and was actually giving advice. I thank God for that. And also thank you for the church. Like, 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 and took some God already knows the children in the world. I know the Bible says, I'm a child of God. I love God. I wish I actually came. So I'm very, very happy. And what God has done for me is quite astronomical. My mom and my sister, two of them, are having their birthdays. So we actually said, I'm going to do let me know about you know your experience traveling outside Lagos or outside any city.